What's up, y'all? My name is Ihaya Kachuku. I'm a senior software engineer at PlanetScale and the Surfaces team. And today I'm going to show you how to use Prisma and PlanetScale together. Prisma is an open source ORM that makes it easy to manage your database schema for your JavaScript, TypeScript, and Go applications. It's pretty dope, pretty easy to use. Um, but one thing that is hard is after you apply these schema changes, getting those changes in production can kind of be difficult. But using plant scale, it becomes pretty easy. So let's take a look. So first things first, I have a database here called Prisma Playground. If we go to the branches page, we see that we have two branches, one called initial setup and another one called shadow that will be used for our shadow tables in Prisma. Both of these database branches were created from the main branch, but the cool thing is that they're completely isolated and free for us to modify without affecting the production database branch at all. So that's pretty dope. So in our overview page on the database page, we have a alert here for automatically copying migration data. So let's go ahead and click set up. We go down to migration framework, we can select Prisma and we can see that the migration table name is Prisma Migrations. So let's go ahead and enable that and we're good to go. Now let's go to our terminal and we're going to do a P scale shell Prisma Playground main. I have to clear that. P scale shell Prisma Playground main. And what we're going to do here is run show tables. You can see there's nothing in database whatsoever. It's completely empty. So let's go ahead and make some migrations and uh, change this up a little bit. Pscale connect Prisma Playground um, initial setup dash dash port 3309. And in the other one, we're going to do Pscale connect uh, Prisma Playground shadow dash dash port 3310. And if we open up our .m file here, you can see that we have our database URL and shadow database URL pointing to these um, two databases that we're connected to. Prisma needs a shadow table in order to apply migrations against it. It's just a way of keeping track of state. Um, and we need to actually update our schema.prisma file as well. So whoops, in our prisma slash schema.prisma, you can see here we have it defined. We have a data source of MySQL. We're using the database URL as our URL for the database. And we're also using our shadow database URL in our environment um, file for it. And in order for plant scale to work correctly, you need to enable plant scale mode, set that to true. And down in preview features, we have plant scale mode activated as well. Additionally, as you can see here, we have an initial schema that we're going to get um, started with. So now let's go quit out of this and we can actually go and run mpx prisma migrate dev dash dash name init. That's been generated and applied. So if you do a ls prisma slash migrations slash Knit. We have to file in there. Let's actually go ahead and do a Okay, that's pretty dope. We can see that there. Um, you can see that's the migration we have applied. Now we're going to go ahead and create a deploy request within plant scale. So let's do pscale deploy request create prisma playground initial setup. You can see we had the deploy request successfully created. If we go back into our browser, we can see this deploy request in this tab. Boom. And you can see that we're, it has those same tables that we had in our schema.prisma file. And if we go over to the diff, we will see that it's adding all the same columns that we have in that same um, schema.prisma file, which is pretty dope. Next, we're gonna go back over to the summary. And now we're going to actually deploy these changes to our main database branch by running add changes to deploy queue. So clicking that button, we're deploying. Right now our schema migrations are being deployed um, completely online, no downtime, all with the click of a button. And cool, it's done. 
Now let's go back to our terminal and we're going to sh uh, switch up our database connection to be um, on the main database branch. And I'm going to actually open up a node script um, called index.ts. And in this, we're just inserting a simple Prisma user and just printing it out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's do, let's run that script now by doing mpx ts node index.ts. And now you see that it's outputted that user that we have in our database and using Prisma. And now just for posterity, let's do pscale shell Prisma playground main. We do show tables. You see that we have all of our relevant tables in there from the deploy request. Prisma migrations. You can see that migration that we applied as well. Star from user. And you can see that user model in there. And that's it. Prisma and PlantScale used together. Happy hacking.